All right, so here we have a, a, a question that the first thing that stands out to me is this slightly scary looking formula, but we'll soon see that it's not as bad as it looks. So let's give it a read. Zoe is a proofreader. She needs to proofread two papers for a client. The first paper has 6,000 words and the second paper has 5,000 words. Zoe uses this formula to work out the total charge for the client. Um, we'll talk about this in a minute. Work out the total charge for the client. Write your answer in the box below. So this formula says that C, which is the total charge for both papers, equals W, the total number of words in both papers, divided by 50 plus 24.99. Uh, so do remember that this fraction means divided by. This, this is telling us to take the number of words on both papers and divide it by 50. So first thing we need to do is work out the total number of words on both papers. So we need to add the 6,000 words for the first paper plus the 5,000 words for the second paper um, and that equals 11,000, so that's 11,000 words. Now that is what W is, so that is 11,000, the total number of words on both papers. Now the first thing we do in this formula is divide that by 50, so we have a fairly tricky thing to do. We've got to do 11,000 divided by 50. Now there are lots of different ways of doing this, as there are with most things, but I'm going to do it by bus stop. Now people don't like, oh, sorry, hang on. Uh, people don't like doing bus stop um, when you're dividing by a two digit number, so when we're dividing by 50, but I think this is a good opportunity to show you that it does still work. Uh, so first, how many 50s go into one? None, you definitely can't get any 50s in one, and all one of it is left over. We didn't use any of it. How many 50s in 11? Still zero, and this time we carry over 11 because we haven't used any of the 11. Now it's how many 50s in 110? Um, well. 50, 100, 150, There's the, this is the start of 50 times tables. How many 50s in 110? We can get two 50s in 110, but that only takes us to 100, and because we have 110, 10 is left over. Now we've got how many 50s in 100, uh, and the answer is two. Uh, nothing left over, and how many 50s in zero? Zero, there are no 50s in zero. Uh, great, so we have, we have managed to do one of the hardest parts of the question. Now let's just tr make sure we've transferred that to our working out box. We just did 11,000 divided by 50 and that equals 220. Great. Uh, so we've worked out what this, um, what this part of the formula is over here. That came to 220, but the formula tells us to take that and add 24.99. So what I'm going to do is column addition. That's okay. A little warning for our time. Um, I'm going to do column addition. Um, you might be able to see straight away what the answer is going to be, but it's nice to have a method for when you can't spot it straight away. Uh, notice how I've lined up these two numbers. The 220 is 220 pounds. So we're going to have, you could write it as 220 or 220.00. Either is fine but putting those point zeros there might help you keep straight when you're doing column addition. So zero and nine is nine, zero and nine is nine. The decimal point goes here because it's got to line up with all the others. Zero and four is four, two and two is four, and then two and nothing is two. So the next little thing that we've just completed was 220 plus 24.99, and the answer equaled uh, 244.99. So in money, we say that's £244.99. Uh, and that's it, there's your answer, £244.99. So key things to take away from this, um, bus stop division, always fine. Even when you're dividing by a two-digit number, um, you can still do bus stop. So when you're faced with something a bit scary like 11,000 divided by 50, we can still do it the normal way. Um, also remember that in a formula where you have a line like that and it looks like a fraction, it means divide. That's what the fraction line kind of means. It means this divided by that. That's why we did 11,000 divided by 50 in the first place. Um, but yeah, that's that. I hope that helped. Uh, thank you and on to the next one.